welcome to East Free Community School. My name is Mrs Oberholzer and I'm the Transition Coordinator and Art Teacher here at ECS. We've prepared a virtual tour which was actually for our current Year 7s but we feel that it gives you a really, really good flavour of what our school has to offer and the facilities here. So we're going to take you to have a look around the classrooms. Please join us. We've just come through the main gates which is where your teachers will meet and greet you in the morning. On the right you will see that we have our primary school here and on the left is our main building. We'll go in there later to have a proper look. We've arrived at the Wilmington building. The Wilmington building is where you will find the English and Humanities department on the ground floor. On the first floor you'll find the Maths and the Humanities department and on the second floor you'll find the Science department. Mr Oberholzer will be showing you around this building. So we've just climbed two flights of stairs. This is the Science corridor. Please join me. So this corridor where you came up, where Mrs. Oberholz brought you up the main staircase, is the science corridor. And the science corridor has all the science labs, as you may have guessed. So down this corridor are all of our science labs. We're going to take a quick little peek inside this science lab. The lab we're in at the moment is Mr. Chowdhury's lab. Mr. Chowdhury is the head of science. Have a look around. State-of-the-art science lab. Gas taps, water points, electrical points, ready for scientific experiments. Every room in the building also has a smart board that you see right now. And this science lab also has a fume cupboard where we do our more dangerous, risky experiments to make sure that you're safe, the teacher's safe, and we can still see some pretty exciting things. We've made our way through the science corridor, had a look at all the form rooms there. Now we come down a flight of stairs, we're on the maths corridor. So let's have a little peek inside Mr. Springall's room to see what the maths classrooms look like. Welcome to maths. If you have a look inside, plenty of space, plenty of light, plenty of work on the walls, celebrating our pupils' work, and another state-of-the-art learning wall which the teachers use to teach. We're at the end of the maths corridor and we've come into the humanities corridor now. We're going to have a little look inside Miss Paul's humanities room. Please come in. Another state-of-the-art classroom with our learning wall. Nice spacious, enough space for loads of students. And most of all, work celebrated on the wall. Have a little look at that amazing work. It shows us the standard that we expect from our students and we just celebrate their achievements. Here we are in the English corridor. Let's have a look in one of the English rooms. Another beautiful lit room, lots and lots of space. Work on the wall, celebrating the achievement of our pupils. Our next port of call is going to be our playground outside. And from there, we're gonna take you around to the PE department and the rest of the school. Join me, please. go out these doors here we enter our playground please come outside we've got two big basketball courts over here over there on the right hand side we have our sports field seen the Wilmington building where we find the science labs, your form rooms, the English corridor, the maths corridor and the humanities. We've seen the playground, we've seen the sports field. Let's head into the main building and have a look at the rest of the departments. We're inside the main building now and this corridor is called Main Street. Right at the end on the left of Main Street we find reception. As we come up Main Street we find Mr Goy's office right on the corner. He's our SLT link. A warm welcome to Eastbury Community School. My name is Mr Goyt and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher and member of our SLT, our Senior Leadership Team, attached to your year group next year. 
as well as being a PE teacher, a member of our PE department. Our absolute priority is your learning and your safety. We want to see that you have a passion and a love for learning and you will get 100% help and support from every single member of our staff. When you come here, please think of yourself as a leader, a role model, and someone that should become a positive member of our school community. You will get so many exceptional opportunities. Please take them up, whether it's being a part of a sports team, a school council rep, a form tutor rep, part of our equalities group, a member of the peer mediation team or a prefect in later years. So a few words of advice from me. Please always be respectful and be kind and thoughtful to others. That's the school that you're coming to. You will notice that other people reciprocate that to you. Go out of your way to do your best. Always try your hardest. You're coming to a fantastic school and you'll notice that you fit in incredibly well. If you have any questions, please ask. It takes confidence to ask a question and it's a real sign of strength. So I very much look forward to welcoming you here and meeting you in person next year. Hello, I'm Mrs Lastiotis. I'm the Assistant Head in Charge of Safeguarding. Looking forward to working with you uh, and the safeguarding team in general. And as we come further up on the left here, we find our drama rooms. And as we go down the corridor here, we have our bistro area, which is the ideal place to come and sit and enjoy your packed lunches or your dinners from the canteen. Over there is our dining hall, also known as our canteen, where it is also a very nice place to sit down with your friends and enjoy a meal and have a chat about what you've learned today. We're at our dining hall now. This is the perfect place to come and sit and enjoy a meal with your friends and show off your best manners. Over here we have our dedicated kitchen staff and Carol, our head chef. Hi. Welcome to Eastbury's library. Please go inside. Again, an ideal place, nice and quiet to come and sit and do some homework, use the internet for research, take out a book, enjoy a seat at the back and quietly read one of your favorite books. important place in our school is our school library it's an amazing place for you to come with your friends to get your homework done it's open after school as well at different times but one of the things that I love about the library is that is the space that we have next to our library which is our garden and the garden has really been established by a group of students called the eco squad and they have built an allotment style garden with lots of wild flowers to promote bees and lots of those mini beasts that are really, really important for biodiversity. And this is a place where we come to do some art lessons as well, so that we can come into a natural space. So hopefully when you're joining us at Eastbury in the new academic year, this will be a place where you can come and enjoy some of your learning. So we've left the library now, just to get your bearings. Over here's our dining hall. We're gonna go up the main staircase in the main building go and see the ICT department and technology. We're on the first floor in the main building. Down this corridor we find our food tech rooms on the left. Further down the corridor is our technology rooms. And there's also a lot of very important offices down here. At the end is Mrs Collins' office. My name is Mrs Collins and I'm head of secondary phase at Eastbury Community School. And when we see you in September, we hope to get off to a really positive start where we can ensure that you are safe and happy to excel in your learning. Take care. So Ms Ward's office, who is our deputy head teacher in charge of curriculum. Here's an example of one of our food tech rooms. Again, nice and spacious, lots of space and stoves where you learn how to prepare meals. Okay, we're gonna go up another flight of stairs quickly to go and show you curriculum access. Second floor now, down this corridor here we find our ICT rooms. Here we are at our curriculum access. We're on the second floor of the main building and this is where students that need additional support with their learning come for their additional support. So we've come down the stairs 
onto the first floor of the main building and we're going to go look at the art department. Our art department starts here with our music rooms. lots of achievement plaques all around the main hall celebrating the achievements of students from our past. The main hall is also the place where we would gather once a week in the morning instead of going to our form time to have a whole year assembly where I will speak to all of you about current events, announcements and celebrate your achievements of that week, of that month and of the year. We are going to leave the main hall now and go to our final part of the school today which is the P department. <music> Eastbury's P department. We're going to go inside and have a look at our gymnasium. Unfortunately, we can't show you the big sports hall. It's being used at the moment. And we'll go out on the corridor and have a look at the gym. Here's a gymnasium area. Where we do table tennis, trampolining, and all sorts of other amazing activities. Let's take a stroll down to the gym. Made our way down the corridor past the change rooms, and here we are at Eastbury's Fitness Suite. A well equipped school gym that new groups are allowed to use on a rotational basis. I hope you've enjoyed the virtual tour of our school building with Mr Oberholzer and it's given you insight into the facilities that we have available for you here at Eastbury Community School. As we have welcomed pupils back from September, the strategic post-Covid recovery plan has been put in place to ensure that all pupils, all staff and our families feel safe and welcome to enjoy their learning. Here's a summary of that plan. Community is a word that really embodies what Eastbury Community School is all about. Eastbury School is more than a place to come and learn, share your ideas and challenge yourself. In fact, it feels more like a place that we call home for a range of staff, families and our pupils. We invite you and hope that you do continue to watch the remainder of this virtual tour. All departments have created a recording which highlights what we do here at Eastbury on a daily basis and which so showcases that a love for learning, opportunity, personal achievement and challenge is at the heart of our day-to-day -day school life. There are a variety of resources available on this virtual page. Please do take the opportunity to look at all of these resources and including the school website. We hope you enjoy this virtual event and it gives you insight into what we do here at Eastbury Community School. I welcome your questions and I look forward to hearing from you. Please see my email address below and please contact me again with any questions you have. Thank you.